ISOMAP uses an account system to secure and manage your personal content. In order to start using ISOMAP, you'll need to take just a few quick steps to create your user account. On the account creation page, enter the requested information, including name, username, email address, and password. When you're finished, click the Save button to create your new account. The final step is to verify your account using an automated email sent to the email address you provided during registration. The confirmation email will be immediately and automatically sent to your email address. Find the email and click the link provided, and you'll be returned to the ISOMAP website to log in to your new account. As soon as you have logged in, you will be able to begin exploring the structure and content of ISOMAP. Start by clicking on the My Jobs tab. The My Jobs tab allows you to view and manage content that you have developed within ISOMAP. Because your account is new, you won't find anything on the My Jobs page right now, but this will be an important component of ISOMAP once you start developing projects. Now click on the Precipitation Model tab. This is where you will find core content that allows you to explore, analyze, and model precipitation isotope data. You'll be taken to a page called Develop a Model. The tools on this page allow you to develop a model describing spatial variation in precipitation isotope ratios as a function of geographic and climatic variables. They are organized in a standard ISOMAP workflow format with the colored boxes across the top of the screen leading you through a series of steps that are required to complete the job. Let's now click on the Explore Models tab to view the results of some model development jobs that others have conducted in ISOMAP. Here you will find a searchable and sortable catalog of models that other ISOMAP users have developed and shared within the system. Any user can easily publish models and maps that they've created within ISOMAP, making them visible to other users. Feel free to click on the name of one or more of the models listed in this catalog. You will see a detailed description of the model job, as well as statistics documenting the results appear on the right side of the page. Models produced within ISOMAP can also be used to predict precipitation isotope ratios for all or part of the globe. Click on the Display Map tab to view some precipitation isoscapes produced by other ISOMAP users. The catalog on this page lists precipitation isotope mapping projects that have been completed and shared by ISOMAP users. Click on any entry to see the details of the project, including the spatial and temporal extent of the data used to produce the maps. Each mapping project actually produces multiple map layers, and these can be seen in the table of contents that appears to the right of the search box in the ISOMAP workflow ribbon. To view the selected map layer, click the green advance arrow on the search workflow control. Within ISOMAP, these green advance arrows will always allow you to complete a workflow step and move on to the next step or to view results. The selected map layer will be displayed along with a color scale indicating the minimum and maximum values within the display window. The map interface also provides a basic set of tools for manipulating the display including pan, zoom in, zoom out, and full extent. Feel free to spend some time exploring this interface, including the different map layers associated with different jobs, such as the STD Krig and STD regression layers that show the standard deviation of map predictions for the isoscapes model. If at any point you would like to display map layers associated with a different job, simply click on the search workflow control box and you'll be returned to the catalog where you can select a new job and view its associated layers. You can log out of your ISOMAP session using the link at the top right of the page. Projects that you've completed or jobs that you've submitted will be saved for you and will be available next time you log in to ISOMAP. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in getting a start with ISOMAP. More information is available in the user quick guide and additional video tutorials will be added over time. We welcome you to work with ISOMAP to get a sense for its functionality and abilities, and at any point to contact us at isomap at purdue.edu 
with questions, comments, or feedback.